Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is for the beautiful sign of Virgo. My dear friends, this is your general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside, um, especially with this type of readings. If ever you do have any serious doubt, uh, you would like to have your own reading, please do contact me. My information is right below the video into the YouTube description box. You do have a list of my readings also. Um, with that being said, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so much in advance. So we're going to begin this reading. Um, I'm using a tarot, I'm using Lenormand. I am going to remove for the moment the Lenormand because we're going to begin with the tarot. Now this reading is truly for those of you who do not know, you do not have the confirmation that there is a third party um, going on. So let's go and see what the cards have to say. I have the Six of Wands followed by the Six of Cups. I have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, I have the King of Swords, I have the Judgment the Knight of Wands, I have the Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, and we have the Five of Wands. I unfortunately have to say within this reading that there is some um, a third party relationship going on. I even have over here the third person who is uh, present into the reading, uh, which is signifying to me that they are really quite present within the relationship itself. So um, sometimes there are third party relationships and they don't know that they're actually in a third party relationship. They think they're the only ones. This is not the case. So this person does know about you. They don't like you at all. and They're going to do everything in their possible power to get rid of you. Okay, for so you're no longer within the picture. They want your partner and nobody else. Um, that being said, this is a a very evil type person, very non nice person at all. Uh, this person does a lot of gossiping, so do be very careful um, if you do hear any gossip going around, anything that might be false, anything, it could be coming from this person right over here. Um, I feel as though your partner is very deceitful. Uh, they're very wise, they're very wise, they're very sneaky. They know exactly what they're doing. Okay, they plan it, they know what they're doing, um, and they're trying to do everything in their power so you don't know. Why? Because they do love you. Um, and But they are promising you the world. They have made promises to you of all different kinds, beautiful promises that, you know, we all want to believe in, but it's just promises, it's just illusions. So there are empty promises what I'm, is what I'm seeing here. Um, I don't believe that that any of it is, is going to um, is going to come true. Um, I feel like there is a lot of fighting. There's a lot of fighting going on, but there is just nothing that's going to be said and they're never going to tell you. Your partner is never going to admit that they that they are cheating. Um, for you to um, to find out, you're going to have to find some, um, some solid proof um, because they're never going to tell you. Um, the only way that there could be some type of leakage could be coming from the other partner over here, but I don't see that. There coming at you neither. They're trying to get you out of the picture but nothing more. Um, I feel like at some point I know that you the only thing you're looking for here is love. That's what you're not getting. You see other people, you see that they're happy, you would like to have the same thing but it's as if this relationship was fated to be like that. doesn't really matter what you do, what you say, how you you know you modify yourself, the result is going to be the same. I think this was just meant to be onto your journey like this as a challenge that you need to turn into a blessing. Um, I feel, and I know it does not seem like it, and doesn't feel like it right now, and I am sorry, but that that is just the way uh, the universe functions. So um, I feel like there is going to be a period. I feel like they are going to be leaving. Um, they're not going to be leaving right away, um, but I feel as though at some point maybe you're going to get them. You're going to be receiving this proof that you're looking for and you're going to come forth with it. You're going to have a discussion. There's going to be a big fight and they're going to leave. Um, so this is, you know, I, I, I really, and I'm 
And I'm going to go look, see what's going on into the Lenormand after, see if there's any more information, additional information on that um, to see, you know, if they're coming back or not. But um, I hear it is clear that they are leaving. I see a lot of fights. I see, you know, that you did find the proof at some point. They know what they're doing. They're not feeling remorseful whatsoever. It's just the way that they are. I don't know if they're like that, if they're egocentric, but this is, uh, is what's going on. Unfortunately, whatever it is that you had wanted within this relationship, I do not believe that it is going to, um, that it is going to come true. Um, I'm just going to remove the tarot deck for a moment. I'm going to put it away and we're going to take out the Lenormand and we're going to go see what's going on with the Lenormand. Try and see what's, uh, where this is all going. So I have the mice followed by the compass. We have the dog. I have the fox. I have the birds. I have the well. I have the bridges. I have the tower, the swans, the magnifying glass, and I have time. So again, gossip. I have gossip, gossip, gossip. This is just what keeps coming out. Be careful of the gossip. It is coming. It is not leaving. And it's so difficult to get rid of gossip once it is there. So um, maybe this is how you're going to find out. Maybe the gossip is not gossip about you, but maybe the gossip is how you're actually going to find out and you're going to get your proof that there is somebody else. That could be an option. That being said, there is some definite... Um, a gossip going on here. The uh, fox over here is also signifying that there is some cheating, that there is um, an ending that's going to be approaching, that um, there's a lot of manipulation, there's a lot of lies, there's a lot of wearing a face mask, if you will. Um, I feel like this has been going on for quite some time and it's been eating at you for quite some time also, but I feel as though you just didn't really want to advance in it, but I think you're just at the point now where something needs to be done because you're you're realizing that you can't continue like this it's just way too much upon your shoulders it's too much stress it's too much anxiety it's too much hurt it's too much pain you don't want this anymore you just want this to be resolved you want to keep your partner but you want it to be resolved um that being said i have the bridges here that don't seem like they are going to be mending i feel as though the towers have built up so strongly that they're somewhat a little bit indestructible right now um undestructible not by your means, not because you wouldn't want to lower your yours down, but I feel as though the partner, as I said before, they're really quite decisive. They're very egocentric, thinking about themselves, and right now, that's what they're doing. They're thinking about themselves. That's it. Nothing more. So their decision is truly based on that right now. Um, I feel as though there, I feel like the love maybe has changed. Maybe the love has become a more um, has simply a little bit faded away. I don't know if you've been together for a long time or not. Maybe this, uh, the relationship has become a little bit stagnant. Um, both of you and you, you know, are you might not realize it, but both of you are, are looking to see, you know, what to do with this relationship and where to go from here. So this is all a question of time. Time is going to, um, is going to reveal what's going to be happening with this relationship. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Is this light going to be with, um, with your partner that you have right now? That is going to be a, entirely up to you and your partner to discuss. Um, so for this group here, I do have to say for my dear friends Virgo that yes, there is a third party. Um, once again, this might not be your relationship. If you would like to have your own reading, please contact me. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Um, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you much courage, much strength, much love. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with a new message.